can stand up and say something. I also know enough out of these decades that I have worked with the General Museum. So, you want to accept like a doctor. You, you throw there a jab, that's a, a left, and actually you intend to throw somebody down with the right. So, we might see uh, an Imam who has been throwing a jab, jab. Now, you might come up with a right, the right punch. Yes, you call it spam. The right punch. I used to call it spam. <laughs> Why was he announced? What will happen? He does say tomorrow. He's going to be very well. You know, presidential candidate. Well, I think he has been in the system. He has been in the system. What are the implications of that? But the political analysts have suggested that Honorable Mama and Babazi's problems emanated from the deception that he was the obvious successor of President Musebe. Now, about that, it is very that his boss put him in the wrong light and all the political enemies started fighting with the man much earlier than they should have. So I think from that experience you might say, let me keep that and I don't stand up. At the last minute I'm going to say ABCDFG. But I think he's setting up for Swahili uh, to get out of an Angola and say, you see, uh, they have said lying to me, uh, they have cheated me at an Angola, so I'm coming as an independent. That is also probable. Alright, so he's gunning for a short sprint. He's not ready for a keep zero run. Yeah, right. Yes, yeah. yeah. What's my answer? Talk to us about this gentleman in Goldman. Why won't he say what's on his hand? You want to why won't he say what he wants? I don't think the issue of timing and uh, declaration is really a political decision which is personal and strategic. Um, for me, as far as I'm concerned, As long as you know his strategists and uh, political calculators are devising, you know it's very the entire up to him. So it's not that he has to begin debating that he's too bad, he's not making a decision. You know, after all, what do you see by waiting by keeping quiet now, by not making a declaration now? So I think it doesn't matter. The, and, and people have different styles and approaches, you know, the the, the honorable mama brothers.
is that you can remove President Museveni from the ground. That is an objective situation. The objective situation on the ground is that you can't remove President Museveni from the ground. He knows it. So if you are his supporter, then you will say we will engage him and remove him from the ground. That is his support. And, and uh, out there, by the way, you will have the rights. It is those that you know that ought to be done that he works when he has overestimated their strength. The moment he gets to know their strengths and appreciate that they are as weak as the other ordinary people of the past of our time, as far as Romshan and I, that he will relax. Now, among others, he is an issue because he is being part of the project of President Museveni who will start in state power. And when they will start state power, the organization that they lead the National Resistance Army stroke NRM became the state. They were sent to the state and they became the state. So the police, the military, the intelligence, ETC, uh, 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 SFC, they are, they are part and parcel. They are fused with the organization. It's one. They are inseparable. And when you say the law is there for that, you can't party. But the way, even this is not a you're talking about, you will still have.
thousands, they will also sleep there. And they will not get the mosquito This time, this man was shocking. Such a thing cannot happen. Hey. Well, I think we have a problem with the comprehension. Yeah. Because what we are talking about here is for the religious leaders to be kind of parts of God. And we are saying that look, what's commenting about the injustices, if they are any anyway in the country, is is very much okay. There's no absolutely no problem. Everybody that's concerned, whether you're a religious leader or a political leader like my brother Suman Basarigo, everybody should be as much concerned about the injustices <coughs> that exist. The only problem that is there for religious leaders is for them to actually be partisan. And I know exceedingly well that some of them have actually attended the meetings which are partisan and they have actually made a contribution in as far as those partisan meetings. That's the concern that some of us have. I'm bringing a document uh, from the Church of Uganda Provincial Assembly of 2010 which considered the environment that we had when we were moving towards elections in 2011. And in that presidential, uh, I made provincial assembly. It was agreed that for religious leaders, uh, who want to actually take part in the politics, partisan politics, they should resign as number one, step number one, at least that's the of God, I can't speak for the rest. They should resign from their portfolios as number one, and number two, when they go for any political participation that is partisan, they should remove the quota, so that they go in the fray and they become part and parcel of the partisan politics. I think that's the concern of that. I, I know that because you are giving a very short time. Uh, because when it comes to others, you give them very short time. After a minute, and you are stopping this. So I want to say and to emphasize the fact that when it comes to Uganda, which I'm reminding you, when it comes, when it comes, when it comes, and can you restrain this one? When they were talking about the idea of the government, they said, yes, but look how it affects the government. They look out.